Entertainment Luxury. Beanie Man Moses Davis, better known as Beanie Man, was born on August 22, 1973 in Kingston, Jamaica's Waterhouse neighborhood. When he won the National Teeny Talent Competition at the age of only eight, he had his first chance of fame. A meeting with producer Junjo Laws resulted from this, and he recorded his debut single, Too Fancy. The Grammy Award-winning dancehall superstar continues to bring art to life with melodies, lyrics, and stage presence that have led millions of fans to believe he is the king of the dancehall after spending more than three decades in music, topping charts, and earning enviable international accolades. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Beanie Man. Number 1. Real Estate Beanie Man, a dancehall veteran with a lucrative career spanning more than three decades, looks ready to add another feather to his cap, and has entered the increasingly fashionable field of real estate. Beanie Man uploaded a brief video in February of one of the many mansions he is currently building, a multi-story residence with a hillside outlook. While buying enormous mansions has long been an extravagant habit for musicians everywhere, refurbishing and reselling has gained popularity recently. Benny says, this is the house we fix up, this a one the house them, stated Beanie Man in the 15 second video. Beanie Man is okay. Number 2. US Visa Beanie Man is under new management for his career, and they are optimistic that American dancehall fans will have another opportunity to see him play soon. Sean Baptiste, a St. Croix businessman, event promoter, and founder of Cedar Records who currently also represents dark room singer Shane O, claimed that Beanie Man had only two growth constraints. Checks by Dancehall Mag reveal that the 50-year-old girl's Dem Sugar DJ hasn't performed in the U.S. since September 2015. Baptiste, also known as Sega, claims that his crew is making every effort, including hiring lawyers, to get the DJ's visa reinstated. The level of communication with management that is sorted out, and the fact that he has not been traveling to America, Baptiste told the star. I recognize that he has not been able to travel to the U.S., which has limited the opportunities, he said. Running a business without communication, you end up lose. The communication part was a big downfall because a man with a career like Beanie Man needs a team of persons who not only manage his music, but understand the business, and handle the travel arrangements. The U.S. wants the dude. Number 3. Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 this week's highlight was the all-other interior of the costly new Mercedes-Benz GL450, driven by the king of the dance hall, Beanie Man. The 50-year-old musician has a lot going for him right now, as evidenced by the addition of what appears to be a white Mercedes SUV to his collection, and his joyous Instagram story boast about getting another one. In the brief videos that Beanie Man posted, he delivered some rhymes in support of the acquisition, plastic office seat, brand new car Yazit, he said while showcasing the white, unblemished exterior of the SUV. Sim Sima not the keys to the Beamer this time. Number 4. Beanie Man Foundation The Beanie Man Foundation has moved to provide the residents of Standpipe in St. Andrew, Jamaica, with some desperately needed aid after their homes were recently completely destroyed by a large fire. The Grammy Award winner used his Instagram page to promote the work of his organization, which is this time around anticipated to help at least 20 children who were left homeless as a result of the fire. Several accounts indicate that the devastating fire started on February 24 Friday morning, despite the response of fire vehicles from the Halfway Tree, Trench Town, and York Park fire stations, it was unable to put out the massive fire, which is said to have burned about 11 units, 8 homes, and 3 businesses. Beanie Man expressed his words, grateful to be able to assist the people, Beanie says in the Instagram reel. Despite the expected millions in losses, Beanie Man's foundation should offer some much-needed assistance. Number 5. Spliffs Although the performer enjoys the occasional joint, he doesn't think it's appropriate to smoke in front of his young children. He's been observed smoking joints with his older children, Desha Ravers and Moses Davis Jr., but exits the room when it comes to his youngest child, Zaya. Rapper Big Tie Stick, who is located in Los Angeles, recently collaborated with Michael Black, Beanie Man, and dancehall legend Beanie Man on the song Reggae Music Remix. Tie Stick mentioned, I am a big weed advocate. I have performed in many medical marijuana communities performing at all cannabis venues like the Los Angeles area Dosha Cup and Northern California's High Times Cannabis Cup, he said. Beanie Man knows the Ganga farm. Number 6. 
The Pinky Initiative Beanie Man created the Pinky Initiative to help Carlene Smith, the country's first dance hall queen, who's reportedly in critical condition from cancer. Pinky is now battling stage 4 breast cancer, which was found in her lymph nodes in 2020 during a regular checkup. Her medications to aid in her recovery were ineffective, and in 2022 the cancer spread to other parts of her body. The doctor says we can rescue her, he said courteously as he put an end to the film. For that reason, thank you. Life in easy. Number 7. Triller Network Equity Beanie Man received Triller Network ownership, while more than 40 acts received stakes in the tech company through the Versus acquisition deal. Beanie Man and Bounty Killer, two dancehall artists, are among the more than 40 performers who participated in the Versus webcast series and now hold stock in Triller Network. Timbaland and Swizz Beats' music battle livestream, Versus, was acquired by Triller Network and the two producers distributed a portion of their stock investment to each performer who has so far appeared on Verzu's. Swizz Beats praised the decision on Instagram, writing, Finally, something that the creatives own officially, despite the fact that no financial information has been made public, Swizz Beats and Timbaland referred to the agreement as a momentous occasion in a joint statement to Billboard. Number 8. Yad Swag Rum Yad Swag, Beanie Man's Rum, is currently available. As part of the agreement, Beanie Man will appear as the campaign spokesperson in international television commercials as well as in radio and print advertisements for the Yad Swag brand. Yad Swag represents Jamaica overall, he stated, pointing to the possibility of alternate names like Zaga Rum, which, though chocked full of potential, did not represent the entire country. It's hard to deny Beanie Man is still the king of dance hall. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Beanie Man. Make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to see our next list. Bye for now.